Hey guys, welcome to the channel, Ross here, and bringing you episode 10 of City Skylines. As you can see here, this is the downtown beach area that I did in the last episode. Now, I let the game run for quite some time building up this area, and we'll go over the different things that actually happened during that time. Now, the one thing I would like to do during this video is actually I'm going to be building the subway network. So stay tuned. After the quick introduction to everything I did off screen, we'll be getting into the subway network. Now, if you can see over here that everything is fully expanded, this is low density over here, low density residential, got office buildings to the left and right. And then also you can see right here, this is high density commercial. Now this high density commercial specifically kind of threw my city into a situation of flux. It kind of, you know, threw off of the balance, threw a wrench into the gear system, as you would say. Now why is because it wanted more products. It wanted more resources. So I actually had to build this area right here. And you can see right there that cargo ship has 100% goods. It's entirely filled to the brim. And so I need two of them because actually I'm right now transporting 112% cargo if you can combine the math on the two ships. Now it wasn't just that area because I built over here. And once the I found out that I needed goods, I built the shipyard and I was like, okay, well, I'll throw in industry over here just because. Well, throwing that industry in there just because kind of really just fucked everything up. So, but I have a nice little production system here that we'll kind of go over. It's kind of like a conveyor belt of trucks, you would say. Um, they come in off the highway, uh, and they come in through the either train station or to the ports, and then they go back out on the opposite side. Um, you can see there, there, there's a little elbow right there. So yeah, we'll come. you can see right here, they'll come down off there, or they'll come off the other direction into this area, enter the, the quote-unquote conveyor belts. They can make a left or right, go into the train station or into the harbor. And then moving forward, they go back onto the conveyor belt, or they can make a right-hand turn onto this one-way street, going to the next harbor. And they'll make a way, their way down this paper clip loop kind of thing, and back on where they can either get on right here, or hit that elbow I was talking about previously, and get onto the highway. Now you can see right here, my highways actually have, you would say, U-turn aisles in between the, t the lanes of each direction. There's U-turns, uh, basically, so they could make a U-turn and change direction. It can limit your amount of on-ramps and off-ramps, so you could actually just, in theory, just have one massive on-ramp. And if they want to turn, then they can just turn. Now, I added bridges going from the other areas of the city, so the uh, workers that can't take mass transit could as well. Now, I added this train sy system down here, and you can see this train line right here. And it says it has zero. It doesn't have zero per week. It has more, but for whatever reason, as we all know, the um, system doesn't correct it, you know, put the numbers there. But you can see that it goes from one area to the next to my commercial. And then I have another line going from there to the new area, to the starting area, and to the commercial district. So I also added more um, forestry, so more tree killing. Lovely, kill, kill the trees. So it is not a perfect circle at all. I kind of added it real fast. I was tired when I did this and yeah. So yeah, so I added it when I when I added that. So it is what it is. But yeah, the, the trucks are all coming through here. There's one way it's coming from the left and right and they are not using this train station at all really. These trucks are all carrying the loads over to the port and they're not getting on the train station. Now I thought they would actually drop it off of the train station and the train would take it to the next train station and then off the train station and into the port, but that didn't work out very well. I don't know why. You can see right there, there's a little truck. He's coming into the train station, but that's the only one. So, and that train is going, where is it going? Up, oh, it's going off the map. So, well, fuck it. So, as I said, though, we want to establish... Oh, the yeah, airport. Airport. This is the most productive airport I've ever had in the city. Um, the planes are taken off with about 10 people, but uh, they're, le le they're landing with about 150 to 200. So, it's pretty exciting. 
So, I mean, a city of 74,000 right now, and as it gets bigger, hopefully it's even more productive. So, now I want to get to actually building these subways. Okay, so let's uh, get this subway tool. Yep, subway. Now, I want to add subways next to all my, you know, big transportation things I already have going right now. So, I'm going to add one to every train station. Now, it's a little, how do you say, like, repetitive, I guess you would say, um, because I already have train systems there, so then, in theory, they would just take the fucking train, right? Well, what I want to do is also establish uh, subway stations in between the train stations so they could, in theory, ferry people to uh, and f uh, away from the train station as well. Also, getting them close to bus networks that or bus lanes I already have so that you know in the future you know then the buses take them to the sub or to the subway the subway takes them to the train train takes them to the airport you know, you know same idea kind of concept so let's plop one here next to the airport as well uh did we forget anywhere else did we okay yeah i want to point somewhere over there and you can see like the lines are kind of developing already like where the lines are going to be going from and to um oh let's put one over here in the forestry yes uh over here yeah no, yeah, uh, right there. That sounds good. Looks good too. Doesn't really sound good, but it looks good. So, yeah. Oh, I really messed up the bus line, huh? I've changed the things the one way, and I never fixed the bus line. I'll have to fix that later. Uh, okay. Well, we got one right here, and we're gonna draw a line over there. Uh, that's pretty central right there. I really do think that's gonna be my bus, like my. My hub, my subway hub, my Grand Central Station per se. Uh, so we're going to have all the subways kind of faring into here. Now what I want to do is I want to actually make circles. Uh, not circles, but curves. And make curves in the sense that to kind of make a big loop. And now I'm going to make a big loop with the idea that in making this big loop, then all the lines are going to be coming into the loop. And then the trains will then go into the station and then find their individual way. You don't want just straight lines going into it because then you're just gonna create really havoc on your system. Okay, so I finished the massive loops as you can see right here. And now we're gonna actually connect out uh, from here and actually can make our lines. So first we'll just drag a one in here and I'm gonna connect it to the outside of the loop. So this also or could lessen the traffic jams. Now, just like trains can jam on your rail networks, they can definitely jam on your subways. Now, the one thing is that if they jam on your subways, more than likely you will not know about it unless you're looking for it because, well, you can't necessarily see the subways when you're just playing the game and relaxing, you know. So you actually have to go and actually look there and see if there's uh, trains being jammed on there. So... I'm just uh, making the lines here and then connect it to the outside as well. Uh, now let's just make an intersection right there. Ah, it's a nice intersection. And then we'll connect this one over there. Now this is just a preliminary uh, network and then we'll base more lines off of that as well. So I'm going to make a circle here as well because uh, there's going to be a couple of different networks coming into here as well. So I do like the idea of multiple trains and multiple subways, multiple different mass transits converging on in specific areas. Um, and my idea is that then mass transit can lead to mass transit that can lead to mass transit and then in theory should have more people riding it. Now, granted, I've never really gotten over 10%. I think the most I've ever achieved was like 15% of mass of population and mass transit. Um, but yeah. Uh, hopefully the, you know, this, this network can uh, do good and do better. So we're going to connect it over here. Uh, what's that stupid curve? Oh, it's because I have the curve tool. Duh. Okay. So got something connected over to my commercial or my industry sector, my new industry sector. Again, making a nice little uh, circle here. Ish. It's going to be a smaller circle here because there's not going to be many trains coming into this area. Because uh, it's going to be one or on the outside of the network. And since I didn't build a circle, now I have to kind of make a circle-ish kind of, yeah, shape, curve tool. Yeah, that looks ugly, but whatever. It serves the purpose. It does. So we got our, some of our piping laid out. 
Uh, or tunnels. So, okay. Now what? Well, now we're going to have to make lines, aren't we? And also, trying to figure out where I want extra uh, extra subway stations. Um, you know, do I want one over there? Do I want one over here? Let's see where I actually want to put another subway station. Because uh, I want to connect the lines, but do I want to put this one over here? Because this is kind of like low-density residential. I don't know. I don't know if I want to really put it there. That's all like low residential houses. Uh, do I want to put it over here, like where the start of the commercial district over there is, or by the college? Do I want to put it by the college? Let's see. Uh, well, that's actually kind of close already to the train station and the other subway. That's like walking distance. Um, okay. Let's think here. Um, I know I probably would want one over here. Yeah, right here. Because then I can just kind of connect this to this straight line that's going down to the new beach downtown area and make a line from there. And then we can just select the line tool. And then we'll click here. We'll pick up this station, go to our Grand Central station, and straight back. And you can see nice happy faces and everything. It's not too much on the opposite side because it's more on this side and not the opposite side because, well, they would have to cross a fucking highway. So yeah so let's think let's add one right here and the same idea we're going to extend the tube into the new network um and then we'll add in the uh yeah the tool so yep and let's uh, get that line in okay start the line there let's okay, get this station uh that station back again so and they got a nice little it's not a loop it's a line you know it's there and back i don't want to make a circle i don't believe in circles um so yeah now we can make a line over from our industry section now this will just be like kind of like a one-stop you know thing we'll make a line here and then to this train station over there and then we're just yep, yep go right back okay so that will do that area now Hmm. Okay, what we can do over here. Let's think about this. Where we want to add another station over here, kind of pick up some more people. Do I want to undo this side? Uh, I don't know. That's kind of really close over there. Let's try to do it further away. That looks good, right there. No, oh, yeah, right there. Okay, now let's connect the tube, the subway tube that is, and now we can actually make our line. So we're gonna make our line from the forestry. Okay, so click down there and then pick up the commercial area, part of the residential, and then add a stop there. And then we'll, of course, take it back. And okay. So there's another line. Now we could add a stop up here. And how we can do that now is we already have the line established, okay? But I want to actually add this in, and so we'll show you how to uh, add it in already with a, an established line. Now, it's the same way that you change pretty much any lines, but if you don't know how to do it, this is, you know, hopefully this will help you out. So, yeah, that looks good. Let's connect this line in and connect the tube. Now, I want to actually click uh, the actual uh, line, so I actually have to hit the line tool, and now I can click it and then drag it over. And then boom, adds in the stop. Now I can click it and have it turn it. Yep, there we go again. So you can see that we can kind of move over. So this is good to expand your network. So let's say, you know, later you're like, okay, well, now I want a tube over here, or, you know, I want to add a station here. I can, you know, add and delete lines now, at, kind of at a whim. So we'll add a line there as well, go into the, the high density to, over to the forestry. Basically, that high density can then support the, in, you know, the forestry industry and then also my other industry with jobs. And then we could also, let's see, add a tube over here. And, okay, there, yeah, that looks good. Okay. And connect it. Hold on. What the? What the fuck? That's not connected. Okay. Uh, let's delete that. Uh, can we connect this thing? Is it just, on, it's on this weird angle that it can't connect? Um, okay, is this connected? Is it? 
That's not connected either. Oh, what the fuck? It's like underneath. Okay. Um. How about this? Does this work? Well, that works, but uh, not very pretty. Okay, okay, that one works. That's a little bit better. Let's delete this one. Okay. Now let's get a line. Okay. And yeah. Uh, what the hell? Oh, I didn't start down there. Okay. So let's get up here. And yeah, click that in and take it all the way back. Boom. Got another line. Perfection. Okay. So now we want to add a line over here, a station for high density. And also I want to add it to, okay, kind of in the middle. Okay. And then also, let's see, one, two, three three, four, five, six. Okay, so we went in the three. Okay, so right there. And then it's kind of close to a bus station as well. So obviously they can be taken to the, you know, from the buses and brought over. And now we can add a line from the train station to the high density area all the way over to our other train station. And so yeah, boom, way to go. Okay, that looks pretty good so far. Uh, a good and we could add something in there later just like we added before so you know we can add a tube over here and Just add it in and the same idea same concept is now We just have to click on that tool to pick this up now This is in the low de density area, but you know we can pick up some people over there and then you know Hopefully get more people in the subways and also with uh, buses and mass transit in general as you can see here doing uh gonna change all the lines here and uh, once all the line colors are changed i'll get back to you well actually first and before i get back to you i'll ch tell you how to do it is you don't want to you actually want to go into your information tab click on mass transit and then actually click on uh each line and then you can actually change it if you try to change it with any other way it's just not going to work um you actually have to go into information, then click on your transport line. Don't click on anything else. And then you can just click on the lines itself and we can change the colors. And the colors really do help to kind of, you know, determine how many passengers are waiting at each station, you know, especially your Grand Central Station. Like you want to see like which lines are being more used. Could you, uh, is one line being unproductive? Um, and then also like which trains are causing traffic jams and the such so as we change all these colors around and then also It's just nice and pretty to see all the different colors, you know, so yeah but you know It it, it just it really does help to tell the difference of which uh, networks are going which way So now that I have all the subway lines different color coded we can see that the Grand Central Station is working pretty efficiently the trains are coming in and out, nothing is blocked up, and this is also running at 100% budget wise, so there is like kind of like the max amount of subways that would be on here. Now we can obviously add more lines. Um, so the city is doing pretty well now, and I think that's going to be a good spot to end this video. Uh, we're going to destroy those buildings because we don't like complainers. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We have done a lot. There's a lot of different areas and I like how the city is coming out so far. It might not be aesthetically pleasing as some other people's cities, but I like it. Oh, uh, with airport. Oh, it's still saying zero people per freaking week. God damn it. Um, but yeah, if you guys like the video, please hit the thumbs up. It does mean a lot to me. And then maybe we can build up here like towards the mountains or build down in the, uh, the southwest or build a new piece of land. Please leave a comment, tell me what you want to see me do, and as always, I'm the Flying Ross, and I'll check you guys next time.